Hello there, it's that time of the week again and uh, this week on Motor Test of the Week I'll be testing this Turnergy Heli Drive SK3 motor it's a heli motor, it's 2700 kV um, it was on sale for a couple of weeks and I, I snapped one up last week uh, and I was going to say oh get one quick because it's on sale it's only about £11 uh, unfortunately now they're out of stock <laughs> so I was a bit late there um, getting this one out and uh, I thought that would be a, a good motor for some people to try dep well, depending on how this uh, test goes um, I thought I'd get one of these like I said it was on sale and I wanted to compare it to um, the results I got on you know, the NTM 2700 kV motor and see what the sort of differences are um, in performance um, I shall say that you can still get a different version of this motor um, well I say different version a different brand um, they still do the Rotostar brushless outrunner motor and it's got exactly the same specs um, but it is a bit more expensive it's what was it, £17.87 it says there um, they do have them in the UK warehouse but the uh, the specs listed on there are exactly the same so let's be fair and go back to the other one um, right so let's have a look at what the specs say uh, it says it's a 13 turn delta wind on this motor um, which anybody that knows <laughs> uh, windings of motors is a bit different um, so I thought I'll see how it compares to the NTM I think it is slightly different wind although it doesn't say what the wind is on an NTM um, but anyway yeah it's 2700 kV it's a six pole motor uh, capable of 4S it says max loading of 40 amps and max power of 550 watts um, it's got what was it, a 3.175 shaft and it says it weighs 80 grams um, it does come with bullet connectors pre-soldered onto there which is nice um, but obviously being a heli motor it doesn't come with a prop adapter or, or um, motor mount or anything so you have to get your own one of those maybe get a spare set one from a NTM and that should fit um, although the uh, the new uh, prop drive ones because they, they now have a 3.175 shaft uh, whereas the old ones had a 4mm shaft all the way through Right, so I've got this on the uh, thrust stand and we'll give it a go, see how this one works out. Okay, here we are. Um, as you can see in the picture on the Hobby King website, because it's sat on like a, a dotted uh, black pad, it kind of looks like the motor's got a carbon fibre effect in the picture. but. As you can see here, it's actually all chrome, which is uh, it's quite snazzy actually. <laughs> Looks quite good. Um, right, uh, the first prop I'm going to try is an APC 6x4 electric prop. And I'm going to try it first on 3 cell, and that is a Zippy 2200 milliamp 45C, no 40C uh, 3 cell. And I'm going to be using one of my favourite ESCs. It is an AE 65 amp Turner G ESC. So let's give it a first try on 6x4 prop. Ooh. 
and the nuts that's 10 amps over spec. Ah. <laughs> so it is a bit colder in the workshop today. Um, now we're getting into autumn and winter, but I'll be taking temperature readings if I can. See how it goes. And there's no no temperature now in that little burst. Difficult to get on the windings on this motor, being a heli motor. Uh, that was the first. That was a good first result. So let's uh, try some more six-inch props. Okay, this is an APC six by four gas prop. So. Uh, see what difference this makes still on the same three cell so uh, let's compare the gas to the electric props wow that made a difference a bit of a different noise to it as well So only 46 amps and 503 watts. I can feel there's no temperature in the motor at all. So uh, let's try the next prop. Okay, uh, this is a TGS 6x4 prop. Still on 3 cell. So, let's see what we get on this one. Well, that's pretty good. Probably seven amps. 17 watts. Still can't feel any temperature in the motor at all. I know these are just short bursts, but also it's difficult to get in on the wind ends on this but only 25 degrees <laughs> all right let's try the next prop okay this is a Dow prop 6040 prop um, but as you can see here it is a bit bendy <laughs> so I'm a bit unsure about using that on something of this power um, so I've put my fiberglass blast shield on just in case this prop snaps. Um, but I'll take it easy on the throttle, we'll see how it goes. Um, so this test is on 3S. Too bad. And only forty amps. So it's the most efficient. Not sure it'd be the fastest though, because even though it's supposed to be a sixty forty, you can see it's not a lot of pitch there so no wonder it's the most efficient so uh, still got a couple more to props to try on 3s okay this is a slightly shorter prop but with more pitch um, so let's see what sort of thrust we can get out of this uh, it might be better for a sort of pylon racer style plane um, where you can get a bit more pitch a bit more higher speed uh, but th this is a Gemfan 
5.5 by 5.5 high speed prop. So uh, let's give this a go. Pull 3S. So it's about the same power draw as an APC six by four. short bursts and like I said it's a bit cooler in the workshop today. It's gone up a couple of degrees. So uh, not too bad. Got one more prop to try on three cell. Okay this is a Hobby King uh, 6 by 5 or 60 50 um, bull nose prop and I know on the last test I did well, I, it was the first time I tested one of these. Um, it put out a huge amount of thrust compared to the other propellers, but it also had a huge current draw. So, uh, just going to have a quick blast on this one. Uh, didn't bother topping up the three cell before this one, uh, but just curious to see how it performs. So, let's give this a try. Again, put out a huge amount of thrust, <laughs> but it also had a huge current draw 58 amps. <laughs> very, very power hungry, those props, but they do put out a lot of thrust. It's gone up to 30 degrees. So it has gone up a little bit. There's only uh, short bursts. But anyway, let's move on to the four cell test. That's probably what uh, more people will be interested in. And see what sort of profit return on the four cell. Okay, to start off the uh, four cell testing, um, I'm going to start with a 4.5 by 4.5 TGS sport prop. And the battery I'm using is a 2250 milliamp 40C four cell. It's a Rhino battery. So let's give this a try. <laughs> Quite strong. Fourteen. Forty three amps, six hundred and thirty four watts. <laughs> Can't feel any temperature? Just about get on the windings through that slot there. <laughs> right, so let's try the next prop. Okay, well, even though I was already over uh, the max spec for the motor with the four and a half inch prop, uh, I've propped up to a TGS 4.75 by 4.75 prop. Uh, so let's give that a go. Still on the four cell battery. So as usual, it's 
produce less thrust than the 4.5 by 4.5 prop. Forty nine amps, seven hundred and nineteen watts. Oh, that's the first time I've felt the motor warm. Still only thirty degrees there. Trying every angle to get on the the windings. Well, it's over 30 degrees there. 32. It's a hot spot there. So let's see how far we can push this. Um, let's try a different prop. Okay, for a laugh, I thought I'd stick on a Dow prop 40. 45 bull nose prop just to see uh, what results I get out of it. So let's have a look. Not bad. Only 41 ounce. Six hundred and twenty watts. So let's be crazy, let's stick a three bladed prop on now. Okay, this is a Dow prop forty forty five three bladed bull nose prop. Still on the same four cell battery. So this will be interesting. I mean, only 47 amps. I admit I haven't topped the battery up, but it's not bad. I have to see what these uh, bull nose and three bladed props are like on an actual plane. I'm yet to try one on an actual plane, but. Uh, one. Hmm. I don't think I'll go off on any bigger prop. Let's just let's give this uh, another run, see how hot it gets. Good full throttle bursts. Going up a little bit on the old amps and watts. <laughs> it is warm, but put a finger on it, it's not smoking hot. Nine forty degrees there. Forty two bit there, wasn't there? Not forty three. That's not too bad, so I reckon you could probably you probably take that to fifty amps in a plane. Uh, not like a NTM prop drive, you can 
2700 kV ones of those you could uh, on a four cell I think I've taken those to 60 amps uh, in a plane and it worked fine so um, probably maybe not quite as good as an NTM but it's a bit different um, difficult to say whether or not it's got any more torque or anything but I don't know, I'll have to have a look at the other video and see what it does on the same prop. Right, so that's this motor test of the week on the SK3 Heli Drive, uh, 2700kV. And uh, if you like this video, yeah, please give us a like. Um, still trying to give you a motor test video every week. Still got more motors on order. Uh, to try and get some more um, but they are all motors that I'm wanting for projects so I'm just kind of sharing this with you as I as I test these out so uh, thanks a lot don't, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you again next week thanks very much bye bye